All right, everyone. I'm back. Take two. So we were at the lake. The sun is coming up. My first live lost signal. I don't know. I got four bars and uh, it shut off. So modern technology, first world problems. But we're going to try this. Take number two. Take number two. So the sky is getting super pretty. So maybe that God wanted us to take a little break and let the sky get pretty. But uh, here we are. Take number two. Hendrickson Lake, Valley Stream, New York. And we are officially at the one third point of the journey. Day 122 of the journey. And we are back. Father Eugene. He's here with us. He's here with us. So, um, today's message. Wow, look at that sky. How pretty that's getting. Uh, today's message is about communication. Communication, how important communication is in life. Um, many of us have many problems in our lives because we don't communicate. We don't tell people how we feel. We don't express our feelings. We don't um, explain ourselves. Uh, we jump to conclusions. We have preconceived notions. Um, we don't um, just let people know what's going on around us. Um, life would be a lot better if you just communicated. If someone's being too much in your life, you got to tell them, hey, listen, dial it down a little bit. You're being too much. If someone's not paying attention to you, reach out. Like, hey, why aren't you paying attention to me? If someone's not doing the right thing in your life, talk to them. Find out why they're not doing the right thing in their life. Maybe they don't realize it. Maybe they don't understand what you need. Maybe they don't understand what uh, makes you happy. Um, and a simple conversation, simple communication would do wonders. Um, a lot of times in a, a work situation, if it's a boss and a boy, um, the boss is mad at the employee for something that's going on, but he doesn't understand that the employee maybe has some health issues, maybe has some relationship issues, maybe has some stuff going on in their life of why they're not able to produce. And at the same time, maybe the employee doesn't understand that the demands that the boss is on there to get certain projects done and commitments are done and doesn't understand why the boss is upset and trying to get a job done because they don't understand the full picture. You don't understand the full picture. And it's super, super important. I just talk to people. Just tell them how you feel. Don't make everyone guess how you feel. If you're feeling upset about something, talk to them. So the second part of communication is body language. Body language, how you carry yourself. If you walk around with your head down, your shoulders down, all depressed, that's the vibe you put out there. Uh, it's the negative energy you put out there. If you walk around with your head up and your shoulders back and confident, um, that's what you communicate. You communicate confidence. You, you communicate uh, surety. You communicate um, that you're uh, representing winning, as we talk about. Uh, when you smile, uh, you communicate. When you send a smile to someone, that's communication. That's you uh, giving them some of your positive energy. And today we are wearing uh, the Northwell hat because we're going to shout out to the nurses who uh, have been stuck wearing masks, taking care of clients and patients uh, for, I don't know, probably two years now with this COVID stuff. And they don't get to communicate their facial language anymore because they have a mask on. So sometimes when a patient um, is not feeling well, uh, a nurse can smile at them and make them smile and make them feel better. Uh, unfortunately, in this mask world where... Um, Everyone's reduced to uh, not wearing masks. You're reduced to just uh, eye, eyelashes uh, blinking and, uh, you know, pretty eyes. And that's it. Um, we take a lot of our facial communication out of the equation. And it's not good. It's not good. We don't realize how much facial expressions on people uh, communicate and make a point. So shout out to all the uh, people in the hospital world out there. Um, Super cool. There's two hospitals out there that listen to this message now. Um, LIJ over in uh, Manhasset over there, uh, Cohen's Hospital over there. Um, they listen to my message in the morning and shout out to them over there. I appreciate you and the world appreciates everything you do. And now I got a friend out at Stony Brook Hospital that is sharing the message with uh, our friends and staff over there and the nurses. And uh, that is really cool. Um, and I hope that I can inspire you guys and just let you know that the world appreciates everything you do. And the world understands what it's like to be stuck behind that mask and not be able to 
use your facial expressions and they have to get your fake eyelashes done so that you can uh, accentuate your uh, your eye, your eye blinks and your eye messages. So um, I just want to say I appreciate all the uh, healthcare workers out there who uh, have been reduced in their forms of communication. But back on point, communication is everything. Um, please just communicate with people in your life. Open your mouth, use your words, use your smile, um, use a blink, use a wink, hold your head up high, put your shoulders back, and uh, let the world, you're there to win. Let the world know that um, you're in this world to make it a better place and uh, and help under, help people understand what's going on in your head. Don't make them guess. All right, so time for prayers. We have the professional here today. We got the sun rising. Look at the colors. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for the good message, the starting message. Communication in everything we do, very important. And the prayer is also communication, as we yes. always want to, someone to talk to us. We need also to hear from God and talk to God. And that's why we are here to tell God about you this morning. To talk to God on your behalf and then also to bless your day. So make our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Her Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. God, we thank you for the gifts of this beautiful Thursday morning. We thank you for the gift of one another, the gift of our families. We thank you also for our friends and all those dear to us, far and near. We ask you, God, to bless us today and bless everyone out there. Continue to inspire us and continue to protect us. And we bring to you our families and bring to you our people in relationships that they may also imbibe the spirit of communication and be able to relate well with one another. As we come to you today to continue to ask for your healing on our world, we ask for your blessing on all our medical personnel, doctors, nurses, staff, and all pharmacists or scientists and all those who also make policies for our healthcare system. We ask you to bless them and bless all those our first responders and then all frontline workers, the policemen, our military men and then firefighters, every other person there working and protecting the entire population we ask you to bless and encourage every one of them continue to take care of those who suffer because of their job and also suffer accidents uh, of job and uh, work and we ask you to heal them continue to support them we ask you today that as we move on that you will grant us the opportunity to be happy with one another, and when calling upon you, may you always answer us. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your message. Um, it's always appreciated. Uh, we love your blessings. And um, we got an amazing sunrise. Look at that. God is good every day. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is why we get up and we ride at dawn. We get to see stuff like this. So, um, you got the message of the day. Communication. Get out there and communicate with the people in your life. 
Um, it's so important to let people know how you feel. Don't make people guess how you're feeling. Um, get out there and communicate. And remember, communication is more than just talk. It's your facial expressions. It's how you carry yourself. It's, um, you know, your smiles, your, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, everything in life, uh, all your facial expressions are all part of communication. Um, you know, this, this mass world that we live in has really hurt a lot of communication and it's kind of sad. Um, but just make sure you communicate with the people in your life. Don't make them guess. Don't make them, you know, try and figure out how you're feeling. Let them know. It's so simple. Just say, hey, this is how I'm feeling and I'd appreciate it if you did this or that. Simple. All right, everyone. God bless. Happy Thursday. We are one third of the way through the journey and uh, we're changing lives. If you're uh, enjoying this message, please like, share, comment. Uh, make sure you join my group. We ride at Dawn 365 Facebook group uh, where we're adding some more inspiration and value and communicating amongst ourselves. Um, all right, everyone. Have a great day. Go out there and win. Go out there and communicate. God bless.